How y'all niggas doing, man? We about to cook, man. We about to cook, man. You know, I, it's only right I keep a balance. <clears throat> it's only right I keep a balance, man. You know, I can't just go in on you trick ass niggas. Hoes got to get to work too. So I love what I do, man. Shout out to the church, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always let Miriam beat y'all to the point. Salute to Miriam. Bringing it in with the cooking challenge with the $10 holler on the super chat. We got 200 people in the room. We just started. We just warming up. Hit that motherfucking like button. Hit that super chat. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this shit cracking tonight. You know? You know? <clears throat> yes. Because girls is perverts too. <laughs> Y'all bitches that took this game to a whole new level, man. You know? It, it, like, it's, it's dangerous to kiss you bitches at this point. It's dangerous to kiss you bitches. Y'all have literally turned into ass-eating perverts. <laughs> Y'all have literally turned into just straight ass eaters. <laughs> Toxic male coming through with the five dollar holla showing love to this meat. <laughs> you know? You know? I don't know what's going on, man. Y'all hoes are freakier than ever, man. Freakier than ever. You know, social media has done a number on the black woman. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, man. A lot of y'all bitches ain't getting wife because you're disgusting. You are a pervert. Y'all give niggas nothing to look forward to. A nigga didn't put a dick in every hole in your body. You licking ass, sucking toes. Y'all hoes is nasty. Peeing. What is with y'all? And, and what is what is the the fascination with females and feces? Feces, face. Shout out to Mike Clemens with the ten dollar holler. Eighty seven Street, Shot Town, South Side is in the. <laughs> Y'all hoes want to be spit on, choked, slapped. You know. Y'all want niggas to simulate rape. <laughs> like it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. I, I just it's just man. If y'all wanted to kill marriage, y'all have done a great job, man. This nigga Jervis say, look up smut Lucy. I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. I just ate, man. I don't know, nah, man. I can't look up that shit, man. Everybody, every one of you bitches want to be porn stars. I think part of this reason is that um, porn is so easily accessible now due to the internet and the smartphone. You know, bitches are just going crazy. Some of this shit is scary, man. I don't want to spit in a bitch mouth. I don't... What, what, dude, what do y'all get a kick out of that for? I don't want to... I don't want a bitch to spit in my mouth. You know, these hoes are nasty, man. Shout out to Chairman Mo with the Hong Kong money. He say, uh, good morning, minister. Uh, good morning to the fellow members of the church. Let's get the year of the dragon rolling, gentlemen. Okay. You know, 
you hoes is just nasty, man. You know, yeah, it's free ass. Yes, you're right. Yeah, it's free ass. Yes, you know, but it's it's just it's just nasty, man. You know, bitches bitches are not classy. They just nasty, and they pussy lips ashy. <laughs> You know, I told y'all about the new uh, the new fetish that the women got now. You know what I'm saying? They used to put all this shit on black men. We just disgusting this, this, and this. These bitches want to fuck with trainees. I showed y'all. See, I go where niggas don't go with this shit, man. Niggas be scared. You know, they too busy talking about Nicki Minaj and motherfucking uh, uh, Megan Thee Stallion fighting and shit. Nobody gives a fuck about that shit, man. What are we, bitches? <laughs> I told you that black women are now dating transgenders. I showed y'all. I showed y'all the evidence. They riding with transgender. They hanging with them. They basically girlfriends with dicks. You know, they can do each other's makeup, do each other's hair. You know what I'm saying? It's like the best of both worlds for her. Best believe it's happening, man. It's happening. Y'all don't ever believe me. Oh, you just be talking. You think you just trying to say something that's funny. I'm trying to tell you. Prepare yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're dealing with today's black woman, most black women, upwards of 95% of them, have done some gay shit. And it ain't just black women. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of white women, they've always done gay shit. You know what I'm saying? Especially in college. Especially drunk. They make out with their homegirls, suck each other's titties. You know what I'm saying? Dudes don't do that. And here's the crazy part. We let them change. <laughs> you know, the, the, black, the black male community has never accepted Donnie McClurkin back into the fold. We have never let him come back into the fold with the brothers. Once he got down with the others, we said, be gone, motherfucker. <laughs> See, we do a good job of policing each other and banishing niggas. We don't fuck with Malik Yoba anymore. You know? We don't, uh, uh, what's, uh, what's Carl Winslow's son? <laughs> what's Carl Winslow's son? Um, yeah, he messing with the transgender. We don't mess with him no more. I forgot his name in that show. I forgot his name. Any man who does anything of that nature, Eddie Winslow, we don't, we don't, we don't allow you to come back. Tyler Perry, you know, black women accept that shit. We don't, you know. Once you turn your back on manhood, you turn your back on manhood for good. Yeah, Darius McCray is gay. He can't come back. He, he, the only person that can forgive him is God at this point. He will never be able to come to the motherfucking game and kick it with the fellas. No, sir. Not at all. The White Howard. He's rolled off. <laughs> Pretty sure a lot of guys have burnt his jersey by now. A lot of guys have burnt his jersey by now. Haven't confirmed Will Smith. Haven't confirmed Will Smith. I ain't gonna put the jacket on a nigga unless it's confirmed. But you know what? Yeah, we write Will Smith off. We write Will Smith off for that first movie, man. What, Seven Degrees of Separation? You're rolled off, nigga. And I'm a fair guy. I'm a fair guy. We got to take a light skin L. What's up, man? We go, is we going to turn up tonight? I'm trying to do this shit all night, man. This going to motherfucker be a, this, this is going to end up being a part two because there's so much shit I got to go over. Is y'all ready to do this shit, man? Or y'all playing tonight, man? What's happening?
Do I got to bring my son out? Do I got to bring my son out? I just found out, man, I got this bitch pregnant, man, in Atlanta, man. Do I got to bring my son out, man? Bitch got me on child support, man. Fucked up. Do I got to bring him out? The fuck is wrong with y'all, man? Turn this bitch up tonight. Special delivery. It's the 126. Cut that shit up, man, so... Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Nut up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Nut up in the throat. All I got rich. Open the foot hole. Nut up in the throat. Where's my bitch? Open the foot hole. Nut up in the throat. Gotta talk about these passport motherfuckers. Now, one thing I will say about the passport bros, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? These niggas take this shit serious. I mean, this is retarded how serious these niggas take that shit, man. They take that shit like it's a religious group. You know? They are on the terrorist watch list right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Told you that's why I got out of the... That's why I had to get out of the bed. They put the niggas on the terrorist watch list. You heard about that shit, right? They put the manager on the terrorist watch list, man. Passport niggas gonna be on that bitch too, man. But they take that shit serious, nigga. I'm talking about, man. When I first started uh, reviewing the Passport Bros, niggas was coming out of the woodwork. I'm like, God damn. It's just a plane ticket, nigga. They treat that shit like it's a religious pilgrimage. Like it's the, like it's like, like how, like how Muslims treat the Hajj. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas look at the motherfucking passport shit like it's a religion, and the Bible is the passport, nigga. That is the holy book, the passport. <laughs> you talking about dedication. You talking about dedication, nigga. Man, that shit is wow. He say, if you brothers listen to uh, the money, uh, won't go missing. Keep these hoes under your foot and in the kitchen. Salute to uh Sarian Knowledge. Man, them niggas is serious about that shit. But I'm gonna tell you where they fucked up at. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna tell you where they fucked up at, man. They fucked up by making the spot hot. They acted like some niggas who ain't never got pussy before and had to tell 
everybody. Whatever happened to keeping it cool and being smooth and low key? Whatever happened to being low key? So the fact that you motherfuckers was not low key with your pimping, in comes the bitches. Pervert, you are a pervert. Now you motherfuckers getting banned, robbed, drugged, all this shit because you took your stupid ass online and broadcasted y'all secret weapon of y'all sex life. <laughs> Shout out to P. Rothstein out that motherfucking Cleveland. Say what up, Jack? You go on hiatus and come back. Like a flamethrower, damn, you're cooking 2024. I appreciate your P. Ross. Sometimes you got to fall back and think. Sometimes you got to fall back and think. I don't want to, I, I like to give y'all quality shit. I don't just slap shit together. You know, just be like, oh, Shannon Sharp shit this, so we don't talk about this all day. Like, nah, nigga. That would separate me from these niggas. I have subject matters because. Why the subject matters, <laughs> dumbass? But yes, you niggas blew the spot up. You know what I'm saying? Niggas coming out there, they already know what you own. You made it hot. Now these bitches are charging more because they know you niggas are thirsty. You niggas have ruined it. You blew the shit up. You know what I'm saying? By running your goddamn mouth. This is worse than pillow talk. Now the bitches have infiltrated your movement. Big mouth? So you big mouth niggas have let the bitches confiscate your movement. Now we got the passport hold. <laughs> and they doing the same shit that you niggas are doing getting the same results that you niggas get. Now, both of you dumb motherfuckers are over there being traveling tricks. Shut the fuck up! Touchdown! Now y'all both over there paying for sex. Toxic Mill said, I, I won't even travel to the next state, let alone overseas. <laughs> you know? You know? The same shit is happening to them. They're going over there, you know what I'm saying, meeting these niggas who don't really fuck with them, and they paying for dick. You niggas, you niggas never thought that bitches would pay for dick. Well, I hate to let you know this, but the passport hoes pay for dick. They're not tourists. Knock that shit off. <laughs> We're gonna knock that shit off. If you're going to Brazil, you're not a damn tourist. And the shit, and the shit's funny because they never get these motherfuckers. They go, they they have the same reasoning. American men, this, this, and this, this, and this. They go over there and never have a relationship. They just keep going over there for years, doing the same shit, saying that these people are so much better than than us, but they're never with them. There's no, there's there's no, they're not finding no husbands, and you niggas ain't finding no wives. If you're getting played, you're just getting played in Spanish. For you hoes, you're just getting played in, in Patois, played in Igbo, or whatever the fuck language they speak. It's the same shit. You know? 
They are not that you guys are it's it's one of a few. There's only one dude that I ever seen online do this shit, and it actually he actually got a real situation. They zoomed the Thailand brother. Shout out to him. He didn't look like a thirsty pervert, you know what I'm saying? Purses and pussy and all that shit. He got a girl. Hey, they living up, and he actually lives out there. You know what I'm saying? So he just relocated. It's niggas that relocated that don't even have a bitch. They just dating overseas. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. It, if it, it it doesn't work for you in America, it doesn't work for you there. It's the same shit. The same with these bitches. These bitches get played here. They get played there. So what's the common denominator? You. Fix you. These people don't like you. You don't turn these people on. You know, that's one thing. One thing. That's one thing that motherfuckers don't question. Do these passport motherfucking hoes turn these niggas on? Do these passport bros turn these hoes on? Hell no. And all the good stories are highlighted. All the good stories are highlighted. You know? All the good stories are highlighted. But we can, we just got to look at the results. You're single here. You go there, you're still fucking single. You got a couple of hoes you're juggling. You can have a couple of hoes you're juggling. I, I, don't, I don't find a bitch worth a damn. You know? And we already know bitches are stupid. Bitches jumped in that movement in spite of you niggas talking shit. Now all of the spots are sex tourism hot spots and you're on their radar, whether it be law enforcement or the underworld. Good job, guys. You blew up the spot. One nigga, one nigga who uh, went down to Brazil was broadcasting, talking all this shit about Brazilian women and they, they banned him from the country or something. What's his name? Forgot, man. And he looked like a, a smooth nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? But he was just doing a lot of goofy shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to oversell it to y'all. I forgot dude's name. But yeah. You say Austin? Okay. But yeah. He one of the main re motherfuckers that blew the spot up. But these hoes is blowing the spot up, too. These hoes is blowing the spot up, man. You know? They, 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 you got to understand when you niggas go online and challenge these bitches and you tell them our playbook, you know what I'm saying? Because that, that was supposed to be something y'all supposed to have kept in the playbook and shut the fuck up about. But you niggas got so excited because you never got asked before. Now the hoes is doing the same goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucking up the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk too goddamn much. You should have shut the fuck up about it. But you got excited. You never had pussy before. You had to tell everybody. So you did it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You know, now you, the passport bros, have literally created the, pla the passport hoes. They are your creation. And that's why today's topic is called the spirit of the traveling tramp. Pervert, you are pervert, a pervert, pervert. Keep your fucking mouth closed. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots? Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America. 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 Do you have your passport? Did you get your shots?
Yep. So just like the Manusfield movement, the Red Pure movement, how we got hijacked by a hoes, the passport movement has been hijacked by a hoes. You know what I'm saying? The same bitches y'all running away from, well, when you take your flight, you're going to probably bump into them raggedy hoes. Going everywhere you go. They're going everywhere you niggas going. Good job, niggas. Good job. All right. So, yeah, we got to talk about the passport hoes, man. It's only right. they not off the hook. These bitches ain't off the hook. You know, these bitches do the same lame shit. This is why I tell all you niggas, man, if your bitch. Want to go on a whole trip with our homegirls to Jamaica, fucking, what is it, Gambia? A lot of these goddamn places. You know what I'm saying? Have her shit packed when she come back. Because they are out there uh, uh, going abroad, doing some, uh, some outlandish shit. Yes, yeah, Spain. You know? You know, shit, that's shit, even just traveling domestically. But they get extra wild when they're out of the country because it's like this, no evidence, no case. You know, no evidence, no case. Cancun, all that shit, no evidence, no case. You know, they don't think they're going to get spotted or none of that shit. So they go out to these countries and get buck fucking wild. And we about to we about to explore how buck wild the passport hoes get. They coming back with diseases. Coming back with kids getting used for their money. <laughs> the same results that they get in America, they getting over there just in a different language. You just gotta use Google Translate. You know? Sex tourism shit is just retarded. You know? And again, if these men were so much better, none of you motherfucking hoes would be talking about relationships because you would be in one. Same with them niggas. None of these niggas are in relationships. You know what I'm saying? They just serial dating. You do that here. But neither, but neither party has game in their veins. Neither party has game in their veins. You know? Um, yeah, and, and, and they're going to the same places. Women got their places. I know Gambia... Um, and I mean, Jamaica is a hot spot for this shit in the Bahamas. There's a hot spot for these hoes to go by dick. You know what I'm saying? White women too. You know what I'm saying? It's white women too doing this shit. Old white women. You know, so don't get this shit twisted. It ain't just these niggas' this passport, uh, 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 pervy, 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 pervy It's these bitches. And one thing that these bitches do that you got to uh you, you got to you got to uh you got to peep see bitches cover for each other they defend each other you know what i'm saying and bitches work better together than niggas do you know so that when they come back they going to control the narrative a lot better you niggas just go all out and just be pervs. Pervs are a pervert. They the male strategy say my girl came back from Cancun and felt rejuvenated. Okay, beta male. And you're still with her. You're calling her my girl. That's some beta male shit. That 
That's beta male energy. We just gotta keep it real, man. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna make sure we keep a balance with this shit. You know, we always talked about the passport bros, but shit, the passport hoes, they gonna take y'all move. They, well, they, they gonna take it over. They gonna take it over. Same way the Manifield got taken over by a white bitch and you know what I'm saying, all these other silicone ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? Them bitches gonna take over the movement. They're gonna be the face of the movement. They're gonna be the face of the movement. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be the face of the movement. You know, and I had to learn this as a young nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust no bitch that go on no trips no more. You know, bitch wanna go on a trip without me, it's over. I learned my lesson with that shit. You know, bitch from the past went down to the DR and going down to Jamaica and shit. And when I heard about what went down, because I'm not a jealous ass nigga, I'm not gonna be calling you and doing all that stupid shit all goddamn day. Have fun, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But they always say, you know, oh, you're insecure. You know what I'm saying? That gives them free reign to do whatever the fuck they want. Because in their mind, like, oh, he ain't worried about it. But I, and I really wasn't. But I'm more worried about how you represent me. And she was there with, with some motherfuckers in the travel group that, didn't, did, that she didn't know knew me. And word got back to me. And bags were packed. Yeah, you better take a family trip. And even I'm going to still be looking at you with the side eye on a family trip. Now, how did you say he your cousin again? <laughs> now, how did you say he your cousin again? You know? Still look at your ass with a side eye with that shit. Can't trust these bitches for shit. You know? And I don't expect y'all to trust niggas either. I ain't gonna lie. You know, I ain't gonna lie. I don't expect a, motherfucker, a woman to trust no nigga. Uh, uh, that's why I say that, you know, if y'all gonna do bachelor parties and all this other shit, y'all just don't get married. Don't get married. Trust me. I've seen it too many times. I've been to these bachelor parties. These niggas are sick. These strippers are even sicker. There's a difference between a bachelor, uh, 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 a stripper at the strip club and a stripper at the bachelor party. I've seen a bitch put a light bulb in her pussy and squeeze and turn it on. Right hand to God, fam. Right hand to God. I, I will call my cousin and he will tell you. One of the guys from the hood was getting married. This stripper bitch, she put, uh, I think I want to say it was mousse or whipped cream or something, some type of white big ass cream, and all on her ass. The other bitch lit it on fire. She started shaking her ass and he just started smacking flames off this bitch. This bitch put a light bulb in her pussy, opened her legs, and did like this with her eyes closed, and the motherfucking light bulb turned on. I seen a bitch pull out 20 feet of beads. She pulled out 20 feet. She pulled out 20 feet of Mardi Gras beads out of her pussy. The one bitch, she opened up her legs. The other bitch grabbed the, grabbed the beads by her teeth and walked all the way up the stairs with just beads coming up out of her pussy. It was like 20 some feet of beads in her pussy. That's the black bachelor party. Then the two holes. <laughs> uh, I, I was like, man, I brought the go, man. Y'all ass tripping. Then the two holes stripped them niggas down, stripped the best man and the motherfucking uh, uh, groom down. You know what I'm saying? Sucked him off and gave him pussy. And the best man was just doing too much. He's sucking titties, trying to kiss the bitch. <laughs> this drunk ass nigga eating the bitch out. Oh, 
but you hoes ain't off the hook. We know what y'all doing. Y'all cheering your girl on and shit. She's sucking dick. The male strippers dropping balls on your on your wife's forehead. Then y'all go, he, she drop, he dropping balls on your wife's forehead. He done fucked your wife on stage and shit. Your wife putting on a motherfucking wedding dress. The next day she got DD and shit. Ball, a breath smelling like balls and shit. You at the altar. You at the altar and shit. She just got nutted on all over the place and shit like that. You at the altar reading your vows with this ring, I be wed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Hold on. This is this, the this song you motherfuckers be playing. You, you motherfuckers get married to these weak ass hoes. You know what I'm saying? After a fucking bachelor, a bachelorette party? Hell no. Shit. I let that shit be known. With, with my girl? Hell no. You, oh, you want to have a bachelor party? Cool. You're going to be a bachelor. Act. You can party for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? But you won't be with me. Y'all won't be with me. Y'all won't be with the church. You know. Y'all motherfuckers want to get the bitch and shit. And, you know. Get the bitch and, 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 and y'all over there saying your vows and shit. She coming down the aisle, you, 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 you on your, you on your. She walking down the aisle, got a whole bunch of nut on her face. Last night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With this ring, I take you to be my wife, love, cherish, <laughs> hold you, protect you, provide for you. Y'all gonna let these bitches then y'all wanna be we're gonna do a girls trip for the rescue party the best the red party you know she got the pond the river nigga all up in her liver <laughs> see first of all good ass I'm gonna be real and say what's over Don't you know I love you from the start, baby? She <laughs> <laughs> just got nutted in <laughs> and put on a white dress. She is in your face smelling like some white mess. <laughs> oh! Mary! Oh, niggas tripping! T-B-A-S! Bitches ain't shit! Bitches ain't shit! Niggas crazy. You know? Shout out to the perverts! You are a pervert! Oh, got these old, you saturated ass, moist ass nigga. Let me say the vows to the bitch. <laughs> say the vows to the bitch. 
crazy. You know what I'm saying? Told you up, man. I got a homie, man. His wife, the day before, <laughs> the day before the wedding, confessed to cheating. He just got his dick sucked at the bachelor party. The nigga marriage, the nigga relationship is fucked. These movements, these perverted movements do not progress us as a people. This is why bitches are broke on pursuit of penis, and this is why niggas are broke on pursuit of pussy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you that black women's motivation is raw dick and cheap liquor? Well, between Mexico, the Bahamas, and especially Jamaica, there's plenty of raw dick and cheap liquor for them. <laughs> you dumbass! Shout out to your name. Show more love than you. And this is y'all show, brothers. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> y'all don't let the ladies take over the church. Jeff, I was working and showing my dude I was wife worthy for you. I cooked, emptied the balls, and showed up when I was supposed to. Shout out to you. He left me, now is engaged to be married next month to his ex. Help me understand it. I would have to ask some questions. I would have to ask some questions. If you if you wouldn't mind, I would put the I would put the link in the chat for, for just Trine. I, I can I, I wanna I wanna ask you some questions, not through the chat. I wanna ask some questions about this. And, and we can assess why he went back to his ex. We can assess why he went back to his ex. This link is for Trene. Salute to you for that 20 piece on the cash uh, on a, a super chat. I just put the link in there. Feel free to hit the link, you know, so you can ask your questions. I would really like to, uh, I really want to ask questions about this. I really want to ask questions on this. Okay, she said, why does she got more balls than you niggas? You bitch ass niggas be scared to call. Her. <laughs> you know? God damn, where my bitch? God damn, but yeah, I would really, really. The link is in there. You know, I spam it for. She might have an Android phone, so we are gonna work with her. Try to work with my Android niggas, man. I don't like y'all hanging like that. Where my bitch? I'm gonna fuck the hoe. <laughs> Let me give us some time to get in here. Hit that link, young lady. We're going to have a good time tonight, man. We're going to talk some shit. Shut the fuck up. We're going to talk some shit today. Where's my bitch? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? If Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying, nigga? If, if, if Jesus can't save these hoes, why are you trying? Why are you trying? What make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? What make you think you greater than Jesus? What what make you think you greater than Jesus, nigga? 
What make you think you greater than Jesus? What make you think you greater than Jesus? Swing the weed mix cards. Can't save these hoes. 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 Hey, Jeff. Thanks for taking my call. For sure, for sure. You got more bars than most of these niggas. All right, so I appreciate I'm going yeah. down this. I'm going down to let you say you cook and you empty the balls and you shut up. Very simple. So, <laughs> uh, man, and that's a blessing all in itself. We, we, we need more women to do those type of things. Shutting the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Is a skill set that a lot of women don't have, man. So give us the breakdown uh how long you was with this nigga and you know say how did this shit transpire? Okay, so I think I should start off by saying I'm new to where I'm new to the city I live in now. I've only been here about two years, two and a half years. And we were together for a year out of that two and a half years. Okay. Uh, we met at work, <laughs> so okay. we worked together. Okay. Um, Always a so, bad idea, but go ahead. <laughs> horrible. Never again. Um, is and work, I thought, you know, yeah. is work weird now? It's yeah. Exactly. It's uh, even it's it gets weird. It gets weirder every day, especially when I found out the yesterday that he's getting married. It's like, but see, that's the problem with fucking with coworkers because. You know what I'm saying? You're going like, like, like the job is more guaranteed than the motherfucking person that you with. And if and that's a big, big gamble that you're dealing with. Now you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation. I don't know. And it's it's not as easy. People say move on or get another job. I've been with this company. I met my boss before I even moved to this the city I live in now. Uh -huh. So, you know, it's one of those things where I feel it's more of an obligation because he's I didn't, I didn't know anything about the job I was getting myself into totally different field. He was patient with me, taught me everything I needed. This isn't my ex. This is my boss. And so biggest reason why I have not been able to just find another job is I, I'm loyal and my boss has been good to me. I've been good to him. And my boss has also been good to my ex and my ex has also been great to my boss. So both of us aren't leaving. So it's even a little more complicated. <laughs> okay. Okay. So how was the relationship when you were in it? So when it first started out, it was, uh, so I, I do stand up comedy and before we became a comedian, he would like sh come to my shows, you know, so okay. we worked together all day and then like he come to my shows and, you know, just random small things of support that people don't realize go a very long way. Um, and, uh, it was started off just, with that, and the next thing I know, I'm meeting his mom and his grandma, and our daughters are meeting each other, and you know, just kind of like jumped into it head first, and um, so it it just felt right. For one, I was comfortable with them because I worked with them, so I kind of felt like I just knew them better than anyone else in the city. So vulnerability was was something I had no idea that I was in until now. So stupid. Um, but it was great at first, obviously it was great the whole time for me. It was literally just an overnight thing where he started pulling away, pulling away and then, uh, was just completely gone, basically acting like I'm dead. So I don't know if anyone knows what that shit, like when someone literally walks around you, like you don't exist when you just like, you know what I'm saying? Like did all these things. So I don't know. Help me out. What? Was it was it was it a situation so, where he start, was he starting arguments for no reason? There weren't no reason, but they were getting frequent. 
They were, you know, just petty, just petty shit. So when motherfucker, with anybody from both sides, when the arguments are getting started and the stupid ass arguments for no fucking reason, somebody's trying to uh, abort ship. Somebody wants to get dumped because they're too uh, afraid to do the dumping. Um, mm -hmm. Look wise, um, you compared to the woman. <laughs> what is your uh, what is your measurements? How would you rate yourself? How would you rate yourself? We're gonna go with Kevin Samuels on that one. How would you rate yourself? I see, I see the picture. Oh. You, 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 you know, you look oh, decent and stuff, but I'm I'm a, I give my, I give myself a solid five, adjustable six. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. what the other bitch look like? <laughs> I mean, um, so she's to me, she's she's just a basic white girl. So I don't know if just the white girl one, if that's the situation, but uh, I mean, <laughs> she's now. just. Let me ask you this: What is she? What? what uh, do, do both of you all make good money? Well, I heard that she doesn't work very much. I heard she works at the Amazon fulfillment center. Um, oh, okay. And she carries around she carries around a plastic water bottle full of vodka everywhere she goes. So, like, okay, she's just. I oh. heard she's just kind of sloth slothed all the time. Um, and she's she's um, bumming it with him at his mom's house. I'm going to at his mom's house. So he lived with his mom? And he always had. So this is another part. This is another part that I thought was showing somebody that you're wife worthy. Because I thought that if a woman who has her stuff together, if she shows a man at his lowest that she will rock with him, that's showing that this girl is like special. And that's why I never judged him or held it against him that he did live with his mom when literally like I I have you know what I'm saying I never asked him I wanted him I didn't need him I I didn't ask him for anything so he was free to be here and be there whenever he wanted you got your own and you got your footing yeah. right and he doesn't so yeah. so and he's with a bum bitch basically and they're getting married <laughs> doing bum shit okay so does he is this his baby mom? No, so I I did I did hear that in his in his dark days before our relationship he got himself together but in his dark days I heard that they had a past together in that form. So that's why I said it was his ex because it was someone he was involved with before he was with me and um yeah, so, so it's not that it is this He's comfortable doing bum shit with a bum bitch and not, <laughs> okay. and, not, and not having to level up. And I think you might be intimidating. You know what I'm saying? And he's comfortable with doing that bum shit, just drinking and probably, they probably ain't doing shit, drinking and popping pills, doing drugs or whatever the fuck. Some bullshit. Sound like some right. trash bullshit. But it's more comfortable <laughs> and it's fun. You know what I'm saying? And with you, it seemed like he probably had to be more on his shit, on his square. You know what I'm saying? Because you sound like, let's just listen to how you talk. You don't sound like a ratchet. You know what I'm saying? But this white girl that he was with sounds kind of sounds kind of ratchet. Rocking around with a bottle of water full of vodka going to work with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, he's just he's, he's doing with what he's comfortable with. Right. Yeah. Now, you mentioned a lot of things as far as cooking, shutting the fuck up. And sucking some yes. dicks, doing some dicks, but I don't think you're fun to him. And one <laughs> thing about it is, hoes are fun. You know, a lot of times women gotta learn how to be a hoe to their man. Man, okay, see, because yeah, and that's the thing. Yeah, I, I had his friends' wives being like, "Nah, bro, my my girl, my girl acts like my girl acts like my dicks on fire, like." You know, he would go and brag to people what, what we did in the bedroom. And I'm like, okay, I kind of like that. You know what I mean? Like, I I like that he was bragging about me. But then, you know, <laughs> he had to push me off of him, Jap. It was, it, I mean, he really had to fight me off of him sometimes. Like, it wasn't. Nah, I'm going to be real with you. Any nigga who brags about what, if, if you his real girl, ain't no nigga going to be talking about what you do in, in the bedroom with, uh, with, with his real girl. Oh. I think that he didn't think you was shit. I think he, you, he was always, he was always, you was always a side chick to him. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. In your mind, you might have thought you was a main chick, but he that that he probably already had it in his mind that you know what I'm saying this ain't gonna go, this ain't gonna go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Because he really what you know it was just something to do. Unfortunately, you know that's the hardcore truth about this. Shit. Yeah. But you know, yeah, like I don't think he was feeling it like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had a girl and she was wild corny. You know what I'm saying? And I had side bitches that was fun. You know what I'm saying? I had mm -hmm. all my side bitches because my real bitch was just boring. She was beautiful and boring. You know <laughs> like I have to be Heathcliff Huxtable around her ass. But when I'm around my side bitch, I'm jacked. And I'm having a good time and I ain't got to have all these damn long ass talks and all this stupid shit. Where are we going <laughs> in the future? What is our plans? I don't want hear shit. I want to take some shots. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Fuck. Talk some shit and play some cards. So hoes are fun. You said everything on, um, on here, but none of it sounded like fun. I think it was just that you was just, you know, dependable pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. It was looking yeah. more way out. Uh, he probably has a little bit more fun and more uh, in the ratchet activities, ratchet activities. With this white chick, you know what I'm saying? So you might have ducked the bullet. You might have ducked the bullet. You know what I'm saying? Because again, you would have been, you would have took all that on because he'd have been a bum ass nigga living in your shit, which is not man shit. You supposed to you supposed to bring you into his world. He's coming into your world. So you're in a situation where it's all one-sided. You're all in and he got one foot out. And this happened with this happened with men too. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta peep the size where the person really ain't that interested. You know what I'm saying? Cause no, no real man. If, if you my real woman, I never tell nobody what you did to me in no bedroom. Hell no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Hell, I, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do that. That shit, makes sense. You do that shit with jump offs. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that yo your business is out in the street like a jump off, he ain't really fuck with you like that. And you put up with that shit because you was still all in and you was naive to a degree. And you don't, you know, you don't really have your, you ain't, I don't know if it's inexperience, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you wanted it to be something that it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And it just lasted longer than it should have, <laughs> you know? I but, think it, I think it's the latter for sure. Yeah. But ain't no, ain't no man going to ever brag about like, even with his wife, ain't it, like say the nigga's wife. Nigga ain't gonna go tell his homies, man, wifey just sucked the soul out of me last night. Ain't nobody gonna say that shit. Not with a real woman, because they have more respect for you than that. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women, a lot of women from their side, they not gonna tell all of the world about how they man be putting it down and this, this, and this. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't want none of these other hoes to want to take them up to, to push up on their man. They will tell... They would tell you that shit about side niggas or niggas that tricks and shit like that that they was playing. Like, yeah, this nigga's a toilet seat. I sat all in his face. This is this. This nigga nasty girl. They, they do that shit, but not with a real man because they don't want your, they don't want them other girls to get curious. Same thing with niggas. It's the same thing. It goes both fucking ways. But I just think that he really wasn't interested in it, and you don't have fun like how he had fun. And the way so he, he ratchet, and the way he live is ratchet. And it can, it yes, can be yes. intimidating to look at you as a woman with your shit together and him being a bum ass nigga and having to level up to your level. This woman will accept, Chaos. Will accept like, this Chaos. bullshit yeah. and, and accept yeah. being a dirty dick Rodney and, that, and staying at that level. He can move at the pace that he wants to move. If he gets with you, he's got to step up the pace on getting his shit together on your clock because you're bringing him into your, your home. You know what I'm saying? So some niggas just ain't ready for it. Yeah. Some niggas just wasn't really interested in it. But you know what I'm saying? You was dependable. So you said. Pussy. So you were saying that if somebody really likes you, man or a woman, they're not going to brag about Hell you know no. what you do in the bedroom. And so because no. it's a respect thing. So. It's a respect thing. When a person respects you, that's see, love is love from a man's point of view is action. What actionary things did he do to show love? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense because it's like you don't want 
the next man to be like, damn, I heard what you did to him. Uh, you know, you don't want that in that man's mind. So about your girl. So that makes sense. But on the action, the action wise the money on him. Hold on. Damn. She, she didn't. No. Okay. Say again. Did you spend money on him? Um, our first, the first time that I took him out, it was a, a $400 Mickey Mantle's dinner. Okay. Have you, have you, have you bought any, any gifts of significance or anything like that? I mean, like it was just random stuff like that. You know, it was, let me okay, do, so, that was dumb of me, but no, no, hey, no. Hold on. Give, hold on. Did okay. he replicate that same, that same, that same actions? Yeah. In the, in the next couple of dates he did. Yes. Okay. Now, when you had like real situations going that you were going through or whatever like that, did he help you elevate you? You know what I'm saying? Did he did he sacrifice? Because men, our love is actionary. So if you yes. broke down on the side of the road, we come in there. If you, you know, you fucked up, we're gonna fix it. Was he one of those type of men? Yes, because I mean, when I bought my house, he there was things that I obviously couldn't fix. You know, he's a carpenter, so he came in and like fixed a bunch of stuff in the house. I didn't have to pay anyone else to do. I mean, helped me move, helped like get me settled in new city. I mean, he was he, yeah, he was the, he was there for everything. Like oil change, did the did the breaks, did the you know, helped me out in the yard, taught me how to mow the lawn. Like you know, okay. Yeah, I just think the nigga just fell out, out of interest with the shit. You know what I'm saying? I, everything you were saying, though, it sounded like, you know, you, you might have been listening to these blogs and shit like that. You know, men want us to make sandwiches, shut the fuck up, and this, this, and this. And that. I and, fell for it. I fell for it. And then you did everything, but you're not fun. I can accept that. I'm Yeah, I can accept that. Even as a comedian, you know, and getting up there and, and sacrificing, you know, like. It's a big thing. This is, yeah. this is a very simplified, very simplified term, uh, 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 sentence here that kind of sums up a lot of things that a lot of women don't understand. Mm -hmm. Holes are fun. Holes are fun. The relationships always are great in the beginning too, but when you know when it stands the test of time, when you're in that boring phase when you guys are used to each other, that's when your love is really being tested. You know what I'm saying? But side bitches are fun. They don't come with complaints. They don't come wanting to have long talks and shit like that about what's going on <laughs> with the relationship and this, this, and this. No, side bitches are coming to just have fun. You know what I'm saying? And you you mentioned all of these things, but it just doesn't sound like the fun is there. And this bitch sound like it's just, he could be a kid again. You know what I'm saying? So how am I supposed, this is, this is my biggest question, like most important. How am I supposed to know when the guy really does fuck with me? Because that's been my biggest, obviously, the biggest problem for me. When y'all get past that butterfly stage, you know what I'm saying? And see, love is really tolerance, too. Because when motherfuckers get bored, motherfuckers get bored with the same motherfucker for a long time. If a motherfucker yeah. just tired of going out here dealing with motherfuckers and just, and just rather just be with your ass, you know what I'm saying, and to deal with all this bullshit out here, you know what I'm saying? And actually give a fuck about you and respect you. You know what I'm saying? You might have something there, but like it's always good in the beginning. Never get fooled by the beginning. It's just like with anybody. When you when you the next person you're gonna be, you're gonna be with you're gonna be new pussy to everybody that you date. Right. You're gonna be new pussy. And it's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of charming shit happening in, in that point. But once you get past that, once once you're not new pussy anymore and you're still yearn for and thirsted for, and then the motherfucker just still excited to see you, and you still can be excited to be around each other, then you might have something there. You know what I'm saying? But but a lot of okay. times, you go with that whole, the grass is greener shit and all that shit. It's always good in the beginning. But we talking about a year down the line, two years down the line. You know what I'm saying? When, they, when, when niggas know how your pussy work, he, he didn't spray painted his name in the walls of that ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, when... when, when you when when you at that point where you know every crevice of this bitch, you know what I'm saying, and you still with her and you still rocking with her, you know what I'm saying, and can't nobody do do or say nothing bad about her, you know what I'm saying. Hey man, you got something. And again, another thing too, even with dealing with this passport shit, we talking about who a motherfucker is when you're not around is who the fuck they really are. 
So when he so when you're not around and he's talking about how your pussy work, you know what I'm saying? Right. Then you have a disrespect about what y'all doing intimately in the bedroom. That just goes to show the motherfucker don't really fuck with you like that. And women do the same thing with niggas. When that bitch go out with her homegirls and talk bad about, about you, you know what I'm saying? I done had mm -hmm. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Go play, I uh go play truth or dare with other motherfuckers. They want to know the truth. Oh, why are you with Jeff? You know, I can't stand he's always in the studio. This, 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 this. that's how that bitch really fucking feel. And she feel compelled to say that shit in front of strangers and other motherfuckers, and that's my name. See, you are a representation of him when you alone, and you represent him. He represents you when you out. He ain't represent you when he told everybody how you throw that pussy around in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? That's that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the truth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? To men that I see that I see every day too. You know, these are our coworkers. So at the time, I guess I really didn't think that yeah. it was a problem. But see, you, know. you was naive in the game. You in a new city. You know what I'm saying? You probably wanted this shit more than he wanted it. You know what I'm saying? So you yep. put that bullshit. And now it's at your workplace. So now you're getting embarrassed at the workplace, which is even more disrespectful. So your, your, your level of tolerance and disrespect is so high, you got played. You know? Yeah. And what a motherfucker really want is freedom. And he wants, he, he wants to, you know, do free, you know, freaky ass wild shit and probably just drink and do you know, ratchet shit all day and have fun with that white bitch. Cause she ain't requiring much. With, with no. Yeah, with you, you go, you know what I'm saying? You, you moving into your house. Yes. What kind of grown ass man move into your house, dog? You know what I'm saying? Like for, you live with your mama. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 it's, it's levels to the shit. You know what I'm saying? And he ain't ready to go up. That bitch accept him Don't you, from Don't you guys appreciate that though? When somebody can can take you at your lowest. I mean, isn't that what? Well, I... at, at that point, a real man wouldn't date. Okay. If I'm broke, last thing I'm thinking about is fucking. <laughs> you, I'm serious. Broke motherfucker shouldn't be fucking. You ain't ready for this shit. Fucking is a luxury. Fucking is a luxury for yeah. a with they shit together. You already, yes. got, you already got a uh, a bastard baby already. You know what I'm saying? You trying to get your foot in the game. Why are you out here dating? You need to be stacking. But see, that's the thirst of niggas with, when it comes to pussy and shit like that. You know? So his priority is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And he found a bitch that'll put up with that shit. You know what I'm saying? And he's comfortable with that shit. Okay. Your responsibility makes him uncomfortable. Is he older or younger than you? No, we're exactly the same age. Same age. He black or white? White. So white guy? Oh, you're dealing with trailer trash. Get out of here! <laughs> you putting up with trailer trash? This is a meth head. <laughs> you're in Kim you're in Colorado <laughs> with a meth head. Get out of here. You put up with a fucking breath head? You got finesse back. Come on, man. Shut the fuck up. What are you going on, Jeff? Be in Utah, Colorado, Montana, Wyoming. <laughs> so look, look. Get the fuck I out of here. I look like everything under the fucking sink. I mean, I don't, I don't discriminate it's it, you saw my picture what am i i mean you're part of the beige nation but god damn right. it, you get finessed by a meth head <laughs> you are a pervert you sucking meth head dick what are you doing <laughs> what are you doing get the fuck out of here <laughs> god damn it <laughs> You can you fuck with a a a a a a a Detroit eight mile trailer park meth head. 
Man, don't get the fuck out of here, man. Go get you a page, nigga. <laughs> you need a page. <laughs> you need a page. Shut the you need to get you a passport, motherfucker. No, don't get no passports. Don't, don't go out here buying dick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the ass whooping. I think I deserve that. <laughs> All right, man. Leave the motherfucking meth heads alone. You working with these goddamn meth heads, man? <laughs> you probably work at a hospital. He's stealing all the oxy and shit. <laughs> Fucking with a biker gang member, man. God damn. <laughs> All right, Jeff. All right, All right, right Jeff. I appreciate you. But him being white, though, it, honestly, he might be wanting to keep his race pure. That's the last thing yeah. I got. That might be it. So, again, too, a lot of black women, <laughs> y'all think that these white men like y'all, but some of y'all are stepping stones to Becky come along. I'm going to leave you with that, baby girl. Appreciate your support, man. Hey, Jeff. Love you. Yeah. I think that biker wanted to keep his race pure. He was like, all right. His family and everybody said, all right, enough's enough. Enough's enough. We want some Caucasian Aryan blood in his family. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, this girl out here having a full-blown relationship with a meth head. Shut the fuck up. Method man. <laughs> So y'all really fell in love with motherfucking one of the sons of anarchy? What's the nigga from Sons of Anarchy? Was it Jay or something from Sons of Anarchy? Get the fuck out of here! I told y'all. Now, I just hope the sister, you know, you know, because I told y'all once they the brothers, they fucked the brothers, fuck their life over, you know, she got a kid. You know what I'm saying? Now she's all mad that she tries the white man. The white man, you know what I'm saying? You know, test drive the pussy. He's like, hey, you know, I'm just used to fucking, you know, flat booty, flat booty uh, uh, Bethany. And I, I just, you know, I want to have, a, you know, beautiful icy white kids and, you know, smoke meth. You know, I'm, I'm not into collard greens. I Who like raisins in his potato salad? <laughs> you putting up with that shit? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> you know? He wants icy white kids. It's not gonna work. He doesn't want to have any beige kids. But after the white man does y'all dirty. You know what's next? I don't want to hear you, Trina. I don't want to hear you messing with Manny Fresh. I don't want to see you messing with uh Queen Latifah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, you was you. Hey, I. How are you going to make yourself recreational pussy for a meth head? That was crazy. That was crazy. They say, yeah, man, don't start. Don't start playing with coochies. We had some super chats come in. Let me shout them out. My man Terrence coming through with the two. Yeti. My man, uh, who is this? D. Coming. I can't see what that say. Dewey coming through with the five dollar holler. My brother Kenyatta with the twenty piece. He say, "Damn, late as hell." You know we're gonna be here for a minute, man. I gotta do. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta cook. But shout out to to the young lady Trine, man, for having. You know what I'm saying the courage. To come on, this motherfucker. <laughs> Dewey, look at a Dewey. And you don't tell nobody your name is D-Wee, man. <laughs> Hi, my name is D-Wee. And I do hair and nails. 
My name is D. Wee, and I do hairs and nails. And let me tell you, chap, you don't need to be messing with no man. <laughs> I had to hit the table, uh, the tape tape for Dewey, man. Don't you ever come up in here with a name like Dewey. He's like, I'm actually from Africa. My name is Dewey. My name is Dewey Olomotambe. I come here looking for white woman. Beautiful white queen. Beautiful white queen. With flat ass. Flat ass. Yes, and freckles, freckles. Oh man, I want freckles. Freckles, yes, 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 yes. Freckles, freckles. That nigga want a bitch with some freckles. The fuck? Dewey, my name is Dewey. My brother is Otobo. We have come to America looking for a white woman. We are on quest for a white woman. Yes. Yes, white woman is God. Yes, in my country, we worship white woman. White woman give us rice. White women give us free. We are looking for citizenship. Yes. We are looking for white woman with passport. Yes, good white woman with passport. Yes. yes. For America. Uh, people are free. Yes, yes, yes. I, I will serve the white woman. Yes. Per pearly things. Per pearly things. White women look like pearly things. Yes. Pearly things. I want to serve white women who look like pearly things. Yes. A pilgrim. A, a pilgrim. A pilgrim with ugly dress. A pilgrim with stringy hair. White woman, Polly Teens. We are here to serve Polly Teens. Yes. Polly Teens podcast. We get green card from Polly Teens. We, we edit video. We are her African. We, we. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we, we, we. And my brother, Utubu. Akim Will Kande. Akim Will Kande. That is my last name. But I will change it to politics if possible, if at all possible. Yes, I drive cab in Uber. <laughs> hey man, hey man, hey man. Don't you Africans start coming up looking for me, man. Don't y'all load up the choppers looking for me, man. I know how y'all motherfuckers do in the Congo, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't you warlords come looking for me, man. I'm just playing. <laughs> Minister Top. We will kill you, you son of a bitch. You pale, light-skinned, beige motherfucker. I will knock Cholof rice out of your ass. I will kick the fufu out of your nuts. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Dewey with the two dollars. He is donating to the church. I come from Africa, where we don't take shit off a bitch, where we keep heavy as she put in lock hole in cage. No bitch shall prosper. You are a slut for Jesus. All of all of the women look like pretty things. Very beautiful. They look like Pilgrims, very sexy, beautiful dress. We don't want black women. You bitches are tacky. We want green card, green card. Now, passport, passport, passport holes. Tra traveling trip. We want traveling trip. Not you, not you, not you. We want traveling trips. In the name of Jesus. You've been there for how long? I'm not a witch. I'm a witch for Jesus.
You are what? I'm on my own reaching for Jesus. I don't use you me. are a foul devil. Do you know who you are talking to? Foul devil. Where are you from? I'm from Imo State. Why did you join which prayer? I'm not a witch. Who are you? But I'm witch for Jesus. Jesus I'm has no witches. You are a devil. You are not set for deliverance and you are free to go to hell. Where did you get in there? I'm not a witch, but I used to dream that I was with them. Every one of you that is on this front that speaks a lie, you are cut down. Cut down. Where are you from? I'm from Joss. Where did you begin? I used to always think about sexual things. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my brother Dewey. He said, Fuvu, I can't read that. It is too small. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. Utubu. Utubu comes in. He says, He says, He says, Utubu says, Just Polly thinks it's who. I will have to marry to get green card now. Pervert or a pervert. I need to stay in America. I am laughing out loud. I am la laughing out loud. You are a foul devil, Minister Jack. You are a foul devil, Mrs. Minister Jack. Pervert. Fufu go the lion for Jack. But the Africans got that can see or lock in the city. <laughs> we keep Ashley foot on Ho's neck in church. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm leave African niggas alone. Today. Shout out to my Africans. <laughs> I'm trying to get my Indian gang in America. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. Time to talk about these hoes. I talk with the tin. Trine, Trine, do you have passport? Maybe we can go on date. No. Perfect. Get you African today. Go get you African. Get your ashy foot African. You know? You'll be all right. Stop hanging around trailer parks. You know? And biker bars. And Starbucks. <laughs> Never work out meeting a man outside the methadone clinic in Seattle. Okay. Okay. I'm letting you know that right now. Okay. Don't talk to the first person that talked to you. It's a new city. I ain't gonna show me around. He took you to every meth lab. <laughs> uh, fuck. Y'all better stop going out like that, man. Throwing, throwing that pussy on the meth uh, on a meth head. It's crazy. Let's start there. All right, man. Time to get in these motherfucking holes. Esophagus right now, man. Passport holes. Just as embarrassing as their male counterpart. We don't believe you, Jack. 
So I'm going to let the white man explain it to you. Because you know it ain't real as the white man says it. You know? Shout out shout out to, bro, to this brother, man. I met him in real life. You know? Y'all see me on my, my Instagram pictures with this brother. I forgot his name. Uh, Bruno. Bruno. Shout out to Bruno, man. Much love. You know? Much love. Dude was cool. The two, three times I met him. Chicks. Women traveling to Thailand, Southeast Asia. It's a little bit different. Salute to this brother for that Waffle House shirt. <laughs> I need a Waffle House shirt. When you see a motherfucker with a Waffle House shirt, you know that motherfucker kicks it at nighttime in the South. You know, ain't nothing, ain't nothing, nothing says like we finna get fucked up tonight. Like a trip to that Waffle House, man. They got on a Waffle House shirt. Passport chicks, women traveling to Thailand, Southeast Asia. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different than passport bros. How do I know? I was a passport bro. And you know who you meet when you're a passport bro? You meet women from abroad. You know who passport chicks meet? American dudes who are passport bros. Exactly. You can't run from us, bitch. <laughs> you can't run from us, bitch. Run, bitch, run. Shut the fuck up. I was a passport bro. And you know who you meet when you're a passport bro? You meet women from abroad. You know who passport chicks meet? American dudes who are passport bros. So basically, they're going to have irresponsible, reckless sex with American men in Southeast. Talk heavy! I like Wawa's. Ain't Wawa's only on the East Coast? Wawa's is the truth. It's way better than 7-Eleven. The motherfucking sandwiches will do you. Do you good at nighttime. Wawa's sandwich at nighttime, nigga. Coming from the club, nigga. You know who passport chicks meet? American dudes who are passport bros. So basically, they're going to have irresponsible, reckless sex with American men in Southeast Asia, or Dutch men, or French men. Passport chicks, passport hoes. Talk heavy shit! You are a pervert. Let's kick this shit off tonight. Let's kick this shit off tonight. You know what I'm saying? It's a George Bruno, man. Shout out to him, bro. Shout out to him. Let's kick this shit off right. Got happy Latina in the building. Get Yada in the building. He got a bad bitch in the crib. About to get his dick sucked. Shut the fuck up. Where my bitch? You know, about to get his dick sucked. You know, my nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We know what you hoes out there doing, man. Y'all hoes, y'all get in paradise and just start throwing that pussy around like some goddamn clowns. You know what I'm saying? And the crazy part about it is, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all hoes don't even really get chose by uh, a lot of these. Uh, when y'all travel, y'all don't really get chose. Y'all only really get chose in like Jamaica, Mexico. Asian niggas ain't choosing y'all ass. You know, you might get smashed by a white nigga, but they ain't fucking with you like that. <laughs> Let's see.
What's the biggest difference is that the women that are paying. Hold on, let me let me let me let me uh let me blow this up so I can see what they uh, what they wrote. This bitch want to respond to a message. Damn, I can't see that either. Let me move it on this screen. Where's my bitch? I'm finna fuck the hoe. Not a minute though. You say you should see the American women paying for sex in Jamaica. <laughs> oh man. And even got them banned in Gambia. See, they doing that same thirsty shit you niggas was doing in Brazil. <laughs> Monkey see, monkey do, monkey you. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey you. Yeah, monkey food. For sex in Jamaica, a height women. That is tourism. Let's go. Hold on. Bring it back. These motherfuckers. The very most biggest difference is that the women that are paying for sex in Jamaica are white women. Bullshit. Black bitches doing that shit. Y'all some tricks. All this free dick y'all got in America, y'all gonna go over there and pay for a disease. Bitch is crazy. That is tourism. I think I eventually dozed. You see, this bitch gotta pay for dick. She look passport. These are what passport hoes look like. <laughs> these are what passport hoes look like. That is the equivalent of most of the bros. They are the female counterparts of them niggas. Losers here. She out there. You know she paying for dick. You know she paying for dick. Off, but then I was awakened to a loud noise. It sounded as if maybe something dropped on the floor or something. Like my heart started beating fast. Like, what the hell is that? So she like, Tasha, it's ass clapping. That was what her response was. I'm like, come on now. I'm trying to go. Tasha, Keisha and Tasha. Broads traveling abroad. You know, she can't even get no dick out there. The sleep, y'all steady been with these noise and stuff. Come on now, it's been just fine since then. I say he could go the hell home, far as I'm concerned, at this point. Mind you, we paid for this trip, he didn't. She paid the money to Adam. So, in my mind, you're paying for ping. Penis. That's what you're paying for. So anyway, I think she said, I don't see. And bitches is tricks too. You all a you all a you all a pervert. I don't remember what she said, but it was some smart. I, so I was like, I laughed. I like like I'm laughing. I was like, girl, don't make me hashtag paying for penis. Yep. Turn up in here. You trying to act funny about some dick? Is you serious? All because I complained about the noise. Are you kidding me? So I'm on the phone telling my friend about the story. My friend like, where she at? I'm like, she right here. Mind you, she like turned up, turned up. I'm like, girl, you all acting like this about some uh, a nigga that don't care about you and definitely don't care about me. Is you serious? You over here out in Jamaica paying for the penis and you tripping. Damn. So the hoes is tricks too? Boy, we got a fucked up culture. We got a, we got some fucked up priorities. Is that tripping like that? Is you serious? Passport hoe. <laughs> you are a pervert. Shabba. He said love me in Jamaica paying for the penis and you tripping set tripping she paid for the Dewey pay for the Dewey pay for the Dewey <laughs> Dewey
like that is you serious? Passport ho. Y'all gonna take that funky ass pussy and put it on a plane? Y'all gonna take y'all funky ass pussies and take it into another country? As if your pussy don't stink over there? Y'all hitting niggas with that beef broth abroad? Are you kidding me? Shiaba. Shiaba. Look at this effort that people put in for sex. <laughs> God damn, man. I did not know sex was that hard to get. I did not know it was that serious and this hard to get. This is a lot of effort. I don't know. I, do y'all see this as being a lot of effort? This is a lot of fucking effort to have a sex life, my nigga. <laughs> like, fam, get your shit together. Fix your teeth. <laughs> Instead of buying a fucking uh, 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 $2,500 plane ticket and doing all this shit and all this old fuck shit, how about fixing your teeth? Yeah. Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're gonna have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public. People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, join the Patreon. It's starting as low as $5. Join. Peace.